I'm talking with Marcy Leroff today. She just gave a great seminar, and just tell us a little bit of uh, what you talked about. Well, I've been casting movies for about a little over 30 years, and in the last couple of years I've gotten really frustrated with actors coming in and being a uh, little less unprepared as they should be for auditions. So I started coaching actors last year and then started teaching classes based on auditioning because you can be a really great actor and be really well trained but the audition is almost like it's another animal altogether. And there are many things that you can do to help yourself prepare and be more in your body when you come in in the room and come in the room ready to just take the room and and take advantage of that opportunity rather than being hat in hand and asking, you know, please, can I have a job? Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm, I'm here to kind of empower the actors with more information. And tell us about some of the projects that you've already done. Well, I, like I said, I've been doing this for about 30 years mm -hmm. and I've cast uh, films from way back, uh, A Christmas Story, uh, Raiders, Indiana Jones, E.T., e Poltergeist, I see that's a favorite <laughs> of yours, right? Um, and then uh, Pretty in Pink and St. Elmo's Fire. The last film that came out was, uh, was Ghosts of Girlfriends Past. Mm -hmm. Right now I'm doing a pilot for Paul Reiser. He's coming back to television, hopefully. Uh, a pilot is like the test that they do bef before they, it goes to series. So it's for NBC and Warner Brothers, and he's starring in it and writing it and producing it. And uh, I've done over 50 films and I've been working with great filmmakers for, for a long time. I really enjoy the process. And has the process changed throughout the years? Is, you know, let's, you know, 10, 15 years ago. Has it ever changed? Is it that same bag of monologues? Well, no, we don't do monologues. We actually invite the actors in to audition and they audition scenes from the movie. Mm. Because I, there's never a situation in a movie where an actor's just going to come up and do a monologue. It's always scenes with, with actors listening to each other and interacting. So we give them the scenes actually from the movie and they come in and they do those scenes. We do it on videotape and then we review the auditions. And it's changed a lot in that when I first started, there wasn't even a video camera that existed so we would do them live in the room and then if we liked the people it w if it was a lead role we would do filmed screen tests now everything is videotaped everything is uploaded online when I was doing projects uh, before I would have like a, a huge wall full of videotapes of all mm -hmm. the auditions that we did now everything's uploaded onto my website everything's on a link it's clean it's fast if I'm talking to an agent and they're they're pitching a client uh, as an idea for the role they can send me a link in two seconds so yeah. it's fantastic it's it's very green, you know, I'm not, I don't have a lot of pictures and resumes, it's all online, it's fast. So people actually have to uh, know a little bit about c computers, actually even sending in a headshot, now you can do it just it's through all, all online. It's all electronically and, and people are getting much more savvy about doing things online and if they're not, they have a friend that is. I was telling them in my class today, you've got to get a website presence, you've, you've got to have a website, you've got to have an online presence. If you don't know how to do this, I mean I didn't know how to do this, I bartered with someone so I gave them uh, free classes and they set up my website. So in this failing economy, there's always a way around it. And it's not terribly expensive, to be honest. And, and the, uh, the callback process, mm -hmm. does it, how far can that go down the line? Is there like a fourth callback? Is there, is there a number? Go, you know, I think it depends on the filmmakers because sometimes the filmmakers have a hard time making a decision. Sometimes people really know what they want and they're able to make easy decisions. But on this TV project I'm working on, there's many steps. You come in and you read for me, and then if I like you, I then bring you into the producers. They might bring you back a couple times before they decide to take you to test at the studio. Mm -hmm. Then we test you at the studio, and then if they like you, then you go on and you test at the network. There's so many hurdles yeah. they have to go through that you can even get the job as a miracle every time, you know? I've heard it can go as long as a month. Well, you know, I heard the story from Carrie Mulligan, who starred in the film An Education, that she auditioned for An Education a year ago. Mm -hmm and then got a call, you know, the film kind of fell apart in a million different ways and then got back up and running and they called her a year later and said you have the part. So it really all depends on the film and the situation and the financing and their start date. It's, it's different every time. And uh, a question I'd like to ask is the, the emotional process for someone going through, um, you know, auditions. Mm -hmm. It's that, like you say, you know, a year. Maybe on that ninth month, they just forget it, forget acting, forget mm -hmm. it all, you know, but it just I, I know and a lot of actors get really emotional. Will I get the call back? Did I not get the call back? Or if I mm -hmm. do, or I, I did a bad audition? Well, you have to be able to, I teach this in my class, is that you are so out of control of so many things in this business and in life, actually. And the one thing you are in control of is 
being good and walking in that room and being prepared and being well rehearsed and being informed and coming in and being good and if you don't get it then you know you did your best you walk out the door you smile and you you let it roll off your back and then the next day you get the opportunity to do it all again so you have to be able to disconnect and know I did my best and then move on and that's the thing about this business there's always that next audition to go exactly. for exactly. okay well thank you very much thank I enjoyed you. speaking with you, you have a great all day right. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>